Welcome back. In this session, we're going to make this really cool three-dimensional collage of this butterfly with its wings that actually flap. It's glued down over here. You can kind of see the back of it with its um, feet on there. And this is kind of a follow-up demonstration and art project from reading the Eric Carle's The Very Hungry Caterpillar in one of our last sessions when we made a three-dimensional caterpillar collage. So just to do a little review here and a little um, talking about our vocabulary words today. You all know what a collage is. We've talked about it many times before. It's whenever you cut out smaller pieces of paper and glue them together to make something that, or to make a piece of artwork that isn't what it was originally. Um, we're also going to talk about symmetry or symmetrical balance. One of the great things about butterflies, or one of the really cool things about them, is that they're symmetrical right down the center. If you divide them down the center, whatever is on one half always has to be on the other half. So if you look at my butterfly, you can see like this little blob shape right here um, is symmetrical. Same on both sides. Same with this. And I'm going to show you how to make really crazy shapes, but yet still make them symmetrical today. So symmetrical means something's the same on both sides. Next, we're going to talk about overlapping. We've talked about it many times before. You see how the paper here, there's the green paper on the bottom, and then the blue paper that's glued on top, and the violet paper that's glued on last. And we're going to do that overlapping so that we have really cool designs. And also, we're going to overlap our whole butterfly onto this um, green leaf and the black background. A new word for us here is organic or amorphous shapes. So an amorphous shape means there's no shape to it. It's a shape that has no shape. It's not like one of our basic shapes like a triangle or a circle or something. It's more like a wiggly blobby shape. And if you look on my um, butterfly here, you'll see lots of little crazy shapes like this one here, um, this curved shape, this little blob shape. All of them are amorphous shapes. And the trick here is we're going to show you how to cut out amorphous shapes and make them symmetrical so you can actually have two really cool crazy amorphous shapes and yet have them symmetrical. Um, in the past we've talked a lot about colors, we've talked a lot about the primary colors and today we're going to talk about something called the cool colors. Let's say that together. The cool colors are green, blue, and violet and I drew them on this color wheel here so that you'll see the half of the color wheel is made up of the cool colors and the other half of the color wheel which I didn't color in is the warm colors and if you look up in the classroom to my color wheel that's on the wall you'll see these three colors over here being the cool colors so again the cool colors are green blue and violet and we're gonna use those colors today so to get started on our project you're gonna need a few things you're gonna number one need a 60 pound piece of paper you're also going to need a butterfly template. It looks like this. There should be um, one for each person at the table. And you're going to need three pieces of colored paper. You're going to need the cool colors, one blue, one violet, one green. So each person has paper to work with. And then you're going to need your texture rubbing plates that we used in our other previous sessions um, to do the texture on your uh, on your butterfly. You're also going to need some crayons. So make sure you get the crayon box so that you've got crayons for later to do our texture rubbing. So those few things in hand will get started. What you're going to do is you're going to start with your butterfly template. Make sure that it is folded in half so you know where the fold is. Here's my fold right here. Then you're going to take your 60 pound paper, you're going to hold it like this and fold it the hamburger way like that. Okay, fold your paper. Then you're going to take your butterfly and set it so that the fold is on the fold of your paper, just like this. Okay, and if you look at that, you'll notice that it lines up really well. It's kind of hard to even see the outline because it lines up so well and the papers are still so white. Then you're going to use a pencil, or if you've got a crayon too, that works. Um, you can trace around the outside edge of your butterfly. Now, as you trace, before you cut, you are going to check in with me to make sure that you've got your butterfly correct. When you are done tracing it, it should look something like that with the folded edge right there. Okay, so when you're done with that, give me a thumbs up and let me check it. Good, now that we're done with that, you're gonna take your scissors, holding them good form, thumb on top, other fingers on the bottom, one finger outside to be able to control a little better. 
and then you're always going to cut away from you. Since this is kind of an amorphous shape, right, we are going to cut it and you're going to have to turn your paper. If you can, turn your paper as you cut. Make sure that your scissors are always pointing away from you and that you're turning your paper as you cut. If that's too hard to cut into the V like that and get back out of it, when you get to the part of your butterfly wings here, you can cut in and then stop there and then turn your butterfly around and cut the other direction into that butterfly V so that you don't have to curve your scissors around and bend your hand. Um, if not, then just do it do the other way. But notice how I'm turning my paper. This is going to be really important for amorphous shapes later. I'm just squeezing my right hand of my scissors and turning the left hand paper. So there we go. We've got our butterfly cut out. When you've got your butterfly cut out, give me a thumbs up. Great, now that you've got your butterfly finished, you're going to get on to doing the texture in your butterfly. Now notice on my finished example here, I've got two colors. I used blue and like a light yellow green. I'm going to have you choose two colors. How many colors? Good. I'm going to have you choose two colors to work with. And you're going to choose one of your texture plates and do the whole thing with that color. Okay, so remember the texture plate goes on the bottom. The butterfly goes on the top and then you're going to color with the edge of your crayon. I'm actually going to break this one in half so it's a little smaller. And you color with the flat edge of your crayon. Push down hard and push away from you, pull towards you and color the whole thing that first color. Okay, there's my first color. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. All right, now I'm going to change my texture plate. I'm going to get a new texture plate. Okay, I like these wiggly lines. So I'm going to get the wiggly lines and then I'm going to use my second color and do the same thing using the flat edge of my crayon and pushing down hard. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm actually going to choose a different texture plate, see if I like this one any, a different one any better. That one wasn't quite what I had hoped for. I'm going to choose a different one. And use this one. Oh, that's a little more interesting. That's a little better. Okay, so there's my finished butterfly with my textures on both sides. Okay, now that you've got that done, when you are done, give me a thumbs up and we'll get started on our collage parts. Good, now that you're done with your butterfly, we're going to take our colors here and we're going to start making some amorphous symmetrical shapes. So what you're going to do, choose any color you want. I'm going to start with purple. Okay. I'm going to take this purple and there's two ways you can do this. You can either fold it in half or you can take your paper and cut it into two pieces and do the same thing. But I'm just going to start by folding mine in half. Okay. So fold it in half 
either the hamburger way or the hot dog way, whichever looks better for you. And I want to make a nice big shape right here. So I'm going to take my scissors and just so you can kind of see it, I'm going to draw my shape on first. You don't have to draw yours on first. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I'm going to take um, a little rounded piece and wiggle it around like this. And then I'm going to make the big rounded piece and wiggle it around like that. Now this piece is going to give us two symmetrical pieces because we're going to cut it out um, and there's going to be the front piece and the back piece. So if I take this and I curve my shape and notice how I'm turning my paper as I cut, turning, 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 always cutting away from myself, turning, 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 always cutting away from myself. I'm going to kind of start on the other side here. Turning, turning, always cutting away. And this is called an amorphous shape. Say that with me. Good, we want to learn that word because it's a nice art word, amorphous shape, so that we have um, that as part of our vocabulary. So here's my shape that I cut out. Now, I folded my paper in half so I have two of them. And I can put one on this side and one on that side. Okay, I'm going to take those two pieces and glue them down. With my glue tap and glue bottle, the point, remember you have to tap it on the table gently, pick off any extra glue, and then flip your paper over, put a few little bunny hops onto your piece of paper that you want to glue down and then flip it over and glue it down. Now the trick about getting it to be symmetrical, we made the pieces symmetrical, but now you gotta have to kinda eyeball it and make sure this, eyeball it means you're looking at it to see if it looks right. And you're gonna um, eyeball it and look to see that they're kind of in the same place and do the best you can to make sure that they're in the same place. The human eye is an amazing thing and it can really see if things are symmetrical or if they're in the right place. I mean, if I put this here, is that in the right place? No, it isn't. If I put it here, that's pretty close. I can kind of look at the distances between here and the distances in here and here and kind of get those in the right place. Okay, so we're gonna set our purple paper aside for, for now. We're gonna get more later, but I wanna get these pieces overlapping. I'm going to take this green piece here and because I'm going to make this much smaller, I'm just going to cut a little strip off. I'm going to fold just a little bit in half. Okay, notice how I've done that. And now I'm going to cut my shape right out of here so it fits on top. Okay, and I'm going to take a little rounded shape at the top and a little curvy shape at the bottom. Like that. So it's going to fit like right there. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that piece out. Notice I'm curving my paper, turning my paper as I cut with the other hand. And if it gets too small, make sure that you're not going to cut your fingers. Okay, there's my little curvy shape. Since I had my paper folded over and I had two pieces, when I open them up, there's going to be two. This one's going to fit right there, and this one's going to fit right there. Okay, what are we doing now? That's right, overlapping. We're making sure that we've got a couple pieces of paper that are overlapping one on top of the other. Put a few glue dribbles on there. Flip this one over. Put a few bunny hops of glue. Flip it back over. And now I'm going to get my last little overlapping piece. I'm going to cut a circle out of here. So I'm, I'm again going to cut a little strip off my blue piece. Fold the end over so I have two pieces of paper. And then I'm just going to cut a circle out. Okay, so there's my little circle. And my blue circle is going to go right on top of my green. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to take a little glue dribble, flip it over, 
a little glue dribble here and flip it over okay now we've got the rest of our butterfly to do when you've finished this little piece you've finished three colors one on top of the other you've got one big one a medium one and a smaller one give me a thumbs up so I know you're ready to move on to the independent work time good now that everyone's done we're gonna move on to independent work time that means in the in the remaining part here you are going to make some more symmetrical amorphous shapes and add them on to your butterflies wings okay while you're doing this make sure that you're folding your paper in half so that you're cutting two things out at once also make sure that you're overlapping nicely and that when you glue them down you have them turned and tilted the right way so that you have symmetry on your butterfly so at this point I am going to work silently and I'm going to make the rest of my designs on my butterfly
Okay, there we are. I'm finished with my symmetrical butterfly. Just as a review, the things that we learned about was number one, we were going to have and include symmetrical balance, which we totally did. We got all of our pieces symmetrical. We wanted to have overlapping pieces of paper so that we have three or four papers stacked up on top. We learned the word amorphous shape or organic shape, which is a shape that has no shape. It's just, you know, not like a geometric shape. And we learned about the cool colors, green, blue, and violet. And we used those cool colors on our butterfly. Now that we're done with our butterfly, we're going to move on to actually putting the butterfly onto its leaf and finishing the leaf part. Okay? So, Tune in for the next video of how to do that.